Okay, so this one's going to be really quick. First and foremost, they're going to start trying more this year, I guess, than compared to last year, to roll out AP pre-calculus to your schools. Your schools will let you know, ideally, whether or not, sorry about that, whether or not uh, they'll be adopting this. If you could see right here, adopt AP pre-calculus. And this is for kind of like your school administrators to go through to see if they want to take this on. The reason why you'd want to do this, uh, whether or not it, it's warranted, and there's some debate of whether this is even necessary, and regardless of any of all that, okay, what I see is that pre AP an AP exam for or AP pre-calculus allows potentially a ninth grader to take an AP course and a get and take an exam in May and get a score. And the reason why that's relevant is because of this right here. You get AP scholar with distinction versus scholar with awards. These are academic honors. Uh, Common App is going to ask you for up to five academic honors, awards, honors, and distinctions. Uh, this is a really big one. I think a lot of my students who get into tier two UCLA and up tier one uh, schools will typically have AP Scholar with distinction. So that I think is a pretty big deal. If you're currently an eighth grader, ninth grader, perhaps even a 10th grader, you might want to check out AP pre-calculus because that could be helpful in that regard. The other thing I wanted to point to was the new SAT. Um, what's the main difference, but they are, they already, uh, I think they offered the March, the March digital exams should be out, but they give you option now between digital, um, SAT. They're going to switch to digital SAT. Apologies. Um, it's easier. Long story short, it's shorter. It's easier. They got rid of a section of for calculator and not calculator. Now it's just all of them calculator. You can use it. They built in a graphing calculator into the software. The main difference that's maybe a little, you know, raises some eyebrows, some apprehension as to whether it made it more difficult is the adaptive system. So basically they put it in a digital, they, they, it's now a digital exam. You have to go, have a computer and go to, you know, a place and, 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 and take the exam uh, proctored. Uh, it will get harder if you get the questions right. It will get easier if you, if you get the questions wrong. So hence adaptive. Uh, this brings up interesting questions about how the score is going to be scaled. So there's a lot of theory crafting and meta crafting going on and it's enjoyable for me to read, but it doesn't seem like the scaling has changed much on one end of a baseline. Uh, I, I was reading the results or the outcome that they projected and it's, you know, it's kind of a difficult type of regular 2400 exam where, or 1600 current exam, sorry, where, um, Typically, it's like 30, question, 30 points off for the first question wrong, 20 points off for the second question wrong. And then as you go down, it, it kind of um, diminishes in its, in its uh, um, penalty. I don't know why it's so hard for me to explain that. Anyways, yeah, so like 30, 20, 10, 10, 10. Uh, if this doesn't make any sense to you, just understand that it's going to be relatively the same in how punishing it is for each question you get wrong. Uh, for me though, the main difference is the actual questions themselves. So I had a chance to check it out. So you can go to College Board and uh, I've taken the first and the second one now, guys. I'm not gonna tell you how I did. I did all right. Uh, obviously, to me, it felt super easy. Uh, more so than even the current, the, the 1600 versions. In fact, it's it's changed my mind now to, I want all of my students to just, if they can take the digital SAT, to just go with that one instead, because it, to me, I think it's an easier exam to study for, to, to get good grade, to, to get good, uh, to get better at. Um, it's a mixture of old, old 1600 back in like the 1990s, uh, where they had almost like a sentence completion kind of vibe coming back. It's worth checking out. That's all I needed to say for today. Uh, yeah, new AP this year for next year, new digital SAT for this year and continuing on. It's a new world. I'm hoping that my seniors who applied uh, this cycle are going to be coming out with good news in March. But until then, I'll see you guys around.